Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, let us try to explore one important function in Snowflake and that is qualify function. Okay, so this is basically based on request of one of our friends Mahesh Varma. He asked this question two months back. Actually, it is a bit late, but Mahesh, if you are watching this video and if you are still trying to find out the qualify function, then might be this video is helpful to you. The question is, can you please explain about Snowflake qualify function? So here it is. Okay. So basically, qualify function simplifies one particular situation where we need subquery, and instead of applying subquery in a single small query, we can achieve the same outcome. Okay. So let's try to understand what is that. So first here, what I am doing here, I am dropping a table person if it exists. Okay. So a drop statement executed, and here I am creating a person table which is having person name. Product, category, price, and years. Okay, so person name is basically that person who has purchased a product. What is the product he or she has purchased? From which country? What is the price? And in which year? Okay, so this kind of information is there. So here the table is created. Now here we are inserting some dummy data in it. All these queries I'll be sharing in the description box or in the comment section as usual, so that you can execute these queries and parallelly do the experiments what I am doing. Okay. Now suppose the business requirement is you have to find out different person's costliest purchased product irrespective of year. Okay, like for example, if you are considering Stephen, Stephen has purchased computer and mouse. Computer was purchased with the twenty thousand dollar might be, and mouse is purchased with twelve hundred dollar. So for Stephen, the most costly product is computer. So in the outcome, we should get computer for Stephen. Okay. So like that for different different customer, what is the costliest product they purchase that we want? Okay, so obviously you can easily understand here we have to apply the concept of window function. We can basically first do partitioning based on person name so that different person if they have purchased different products for individual person different products will be accumulated in one place and on top of that particular partition we can do a order by based on the price and we can basically sort in decreasing order and then we can apply row number and after applying row number for which rows we are getting row number as one that is nothing but the individual person's costliest purchased product right as simple as that so generally if i just do select start from persons here you will see the data is ingested now if we apply row number then it will look like this select person name product price year and then here we are applying row number over person name partitioning we are doing and then doing order by on price and decreasing order because we need costliest product for different person so basically we are ordering in decreasing order for price so that the costliest product for different person will be at the top of different partition okay so if we apply row number and here if i just execute this particular code here you will see this is the output we are getting like for donald okay laptop and mobile these two things donald has purchased and if you see for donald the maximum costliest product what he has purchased is this one that is laptop right which is having row number one Similarly, Joseph has purchased only one thing. So for that row number is one. For Kevin, TV and mobile he has purchased. And TV is costlier one which is having row number one. So we can easily understand if on this particular result set, if we just filter based on row number, we will be getting for different different persons what is the costliest purchased product. As simple as that. So what we will do? We will apply a where clause where row num equal to one. So if I apply like this way, it will simply throw an error. Okay. We cannot simply apply where clause because here itself we are deriving this particular row num column and in the same query we cannot apply a filter on top of that. So for applying filter clause we have to put this overall row number calculation part within a sub query and then we have to apply row number. So generally we write the code like this way select star from and here this whole code we are putting inside a sub query and then here we are filtering where row num equal to 1. Okay. So if I execute this one here for different different customers, what is the maximum costliest purchased product that list we are getting? Even you can ignore the row num column because here row num is not providing us some information because we know obviously for this result set all the rows will be having row num equal to one because based on that only we are filtering, right? Now the problem in this particular approach is we have to apply a sub query. We cannot apply 
the filter in the same query and this is basically making the query length bigger and to avoid this kind of query there is another way there is a beautiful function available in snowflake and that is called qualify function so those rows it will be providing in the outcome which are getting qualified after applying window function and uh, after getting a derived column like row num or rank or dense rank etc etc okay how to write that it is very simple so first it will be select and then here what are the columns we need in output like here person name product price years etc we want so i'll be taking those okay then from and then you have to put the table name from where actually the data we have to extract so the table name is persons okay up to this it is very simple and then what you have to do like how we apply we apply a where clause and then we want to filter on row num right so now we will compute the row num so row number computation is like this okay so i will just put that here and then here i will put equal to one okay so here the thing is it is just like where clause but instead of where we need to put qualify okay so if i just put qualify i am getting like this way so no not this one sorry give you a a l i f y okay qualify right so just you need to remember what are the columns you want in the result set that you put from the base table then like where clause you apply qualify function and then you have to write that particular logic which is basically computing your window function okay that is row number over partition by person name order by price decreasing equal to one okay so basically after applying this particular sub part of the query for which rows row number equal to one those will be getting qualified in the result set okay so let's see if i just run this one here see we are getting the same result set okay and that's the beauty of qualify function just it is avoiding this sub query that's all okay and obviously you can explore about the qualify function in more detail way from the snowflake documentation the link i'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section and all the queries also will be there in the description box if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you